Hey guys, in this video we'll be featuring what consoles content creator Petty360. You guys probably know him already. He has also featured my replay multiple times, so some of you might have found me through him as well. And this time we're featuring his replay. We did feature one of his earlier replays in um, the tier 9 Polish premium, but that was without commentary. So this time, the first replay with commentary for Petty360 is in his object 7032 black this tank is a very very solid tank even the tech 3 version is decent so the tank has five degrees gun depression and is the first premium that was released with dual barrel mechanic if you're not familiar with the dual barrel mechanic basically you have two guns you can fire one gun and uh, there's a 3.5 second interclip before you fire the second shot but while that interclip is happening you're already reloading the first gun so it is like an auto reloader in a sense but uh, a dual shot auto reloader however better than the most auto reloaders we have in the game as they're brutally nerfed but 703 was one tank that was actually not nerfed i think wargaming uh did the right thing actually and uh, i think it's about time the other auto reloader should also get a bit of love the tank is strong but not and by no means broken Petty already did 1100 damage, he penned a shot in 87 and then 200 Indian Panzer. He's now pushing up to G0 to chase that light tank out. A very risky spot though, he is top tier, so he can take a risk, but uh, this spot is risky in the sense they have shots from the spawn as well as artillery has shot at you. As you can see, he's already targeted, artillery missed, they do have two artillery though. But um, if you want to have a good game, since there's only one tank, you have to push that guy out. Progetto is a traditional auto reloader, and Petty is in a tank that's a more fancy auto reloader with better DPM and the option where he can fire both shells at the same time. So it's very, very risky that if you have to peek a 703 or any dual barrel tank because you won't know how much you would get for. Because even a tier 8 heavy can hit you for 780 as there is no penalty for switching guns so unless you're absolutely sure that he's on reload or both the shells are fired you have to be very careful peeking because you might only hit him for one shot right the average alpha is 400 but this tank can trade very effectively even against tier 10s sometimes it does not connect both the shells because the barrels have uh, uh, they fire through different angles, right? Sometimes only one of the shell will hit and the other one would might hit a rock in front of you or not connect. But if you aim your shots carefully and you know there's a clear line of sight, you will end up penning. And that's that's for the double barrel treatment for GW Panther. That's what artillery deserves, you know, those big hits because that's what they do most of the time, sit at the back. Very satisfying uh, to hit that artillery for almost 800 and now he's reloading so the tank does have a penalty when you fire both barrels there's a there's about three seconds of delay where no shell is reloading so basically if you want dpm you go with single shots and once you know you you have time or you don't need the dpm you fire both barrels and uh, finish the enemy so it kind of depends you can also use double barrels for trading so in in this situation then it's uh not 100% shot, it's always better to use the single shot because uh, you know it's not going to pen right. And so one shot you miss doesn't matter because you'll be reloaded quickly. But if you miss, miss both, you will be out of the game. He did pen Sturm Panzer earlier, sidestepping against Sturm Tiger P, not using a T though. The tier 8 version of Sturm Ta Tiger P is a solid tank bar not so much and uh, the tier 10 is okay but the tier 8 i think is one of the the best uh of the line at least that's what i've heard but Teddy was able to kill him without taking any damage as his first shot went into the tracks spots equalizer put a shot into him and is now loaded put another shot Petty and the artillery is dead he's at 5300 damage enemy team start capping and uh, you know you can say that he should cap at this point but what's the fun in that 
you are in a premium tank, what will a win do? We get we play long haul, it's based on XP, it's not on cap. So Petty does the right thing in this situation, you'll see, which is not capping. He is clearing out the side just to make sure there's no other tank over here. Because sometimes you have a camping tank destroyer or artillery. I mean in this game artillery are already dead. But you could have some tanks over there. The enemy team is uh, winning on that is spawn. There are two tanks versus an artillery and TD. And uh, Petty has another medium T20 with him. 703 is still alive. That Petty drive. Blind fired, not blind fired. Tried to pen but couldn't. And as he was pushing, Emil was retreating. And he missed, he panicked. And that cost him his tank without any damage. He's making his way towards 703. Yuris gets spotted. Put a shot into him. Yuris was full health full health. 703 is also decent, so he focuses attention to 703 to help his medium because that medium is really helping Petty as well. Not to mention easy shots on the side of 703. And uh, sometimes sometimes that's what you need, right? If if there are multiple tanks. If it's like a 2v2 even situation, you need to focus a tank because the Uris here is focusing on 703. But the T20 and Patty can focus the their 703 and take him out of the game. But unfortunately, T20 was is struggling against 703. Patty put another shot into Uris on to 7000 damage. Uris started reversing. The, the base is getting capped as well. T20 on his team finally managed to finish the tank. But Patty is in a confusion, you know, because he can't really get to the base. There is only one guy capping, and that was made even more difficult by this Uris running and going into these ditches. So since finally he's dead and T20 finishes 703, Patty can start making his way towards the cap. 30 seconds remaining, very unlikely. Only one guy's on the cap. The other tank is still not spotted, or the medium. However, he did finish the t20 i think it was ragnarok 19 seconds remaining but he trying to get line of sight to the cap probably hit a blind that would be epic though right we all try and one of these times it does connect and that is usually pretty epic however not this time unlucky for him that he wasn't able to pull a victory here however nonetheless great game 7500 damage in a tier rate very solid tank and I would say very very match for Petty he made the right play the entire game you know he did the side scraping where needed helped his teammate and then took out enemies so that's it for this video if you're not following Petty make sure to follow him as well and uh, I'll catch you in the next one have a great rest of your day guys